Two might be company and three may well be a crowd, but it seems that four is the perfect number when it comes to friends. Researchers have found that women are becoming far more selective when forming friendships and the emphasis is now on quality and not quantity. But ladies, is that true for you? And do you find that you need that kind of popularity um, seal of approval from having a large group of friends around you? I've got four really good mates, so that is interesting. I've got Magic Mandy, my magician mate. I've got PR Julia, who lives in Brighton. I've got my mate Dion in Mallorca. Hello, Dion. And I've got um, my gay best mate. So What's his name? Oh, lovely Derek. <laughs> <laughs> Hello. He's, a, he's Anna on 60 Minute Makeover. All oh, right. He's lovely. And... Oh, yeah! Yeah. <laughs> well, Derek's got a fella. Um, Magic Mandy's always doing bar mitzvahs, close-up magic. Julia goes to Brighton every weekend. Dion's in Mallorca. I would love to be part of a gang. Aww. I would. Really it's Billy Gomez, are you? But you know Can't when you me. see these girls and, they, like, ten of them all go out and they're out of a Saturday? Come Saturday night, I'm a bit like, oh, who oh, shall I call? <laughs> Do you know what? I, I, I do belong to, you know, a bit you of got a gang. gang. Yeah, I've got two, actually. I've oh, got, I'm jealous. I've got, I've got my, my firm four from back home, the two Claire's, Paula and, and me, and we're lifelong friends. That's, that's, those are, they're like the foundations of my life, really. Yeah. And then I've got my London friends who are my London family. They, they say that your, your, your friends are the family you choose, and I think that when I moved mm. here, I had to find my own family. And how many is in There's your gang? There's about eight of us, eight or nine of us. Well, they were all in that wedding picture. Yeah. That's, uh, that's my girl gang. We look can like I be a your gang? slightly geriatric girl gang. Oh, please. You can join Claire. <laughs> we'll take you out. Will you? Yeah, baby. Saturday night, Little Italy. We've all got kids. <laughs> Ten were dull as ditch water. No. <laughs> well, there you are. She, she didn't think it was that kind of gang, did you? No. I think, I think also, I, you know, I think in your life, you, if, um, I don't know if this is as you get older, because when you're young, you're just out all the time. But I think you just gather, don't you, very few really, really good mm. friends. Mm. You know, the ones that you can phone up at 3 o'clock in the morning and say, I've broken down, I haven't got any petrol, or I'm lost, mm. or I'm drunk, or I'm... You know what I mean? The ones that you can say, come and get me. Mm. I think you, get, you, you probably have... I don't even know if it's four, really. You know, you've got a couple, I mean, I've got my daughter, and, you know, obviously that's a different thing, isn't it, family? Mm -hmm. But I just think, people always say to me, oh, you know, I mean, my family always saying, oh, you trust everybody, doesn't matter what happens, you believe everybody, and I have been hurt. Mm -hmm. And I have to say, I'm one of those sort of people, I'm very, very loyal, fiercely loyal, and if anybody does the dirty on me or hurts me badly, that's it. Oh, I have really? no forgiveness. I can't go back and go... Okay, but why did you do that? Because I could, can't forgive. Now, I don't know if that's a bad thing. What would you regard as stepping over the line as a friend? Just disloyalty, meanness, lies, mm, you right. know. And, I mean, I do, I do know somebody who I now know has something to do with my ex-husband. Oh. And, and I'd known them for a very, very no, long time. Couplers. Didn't know the then and, and comforted me. Yeah. And, and, and you think, hang on a minute. I, she, she doesn't say she did. I'm just saying that. But I, I just think, oh, is that true? Was it true? But and you then know what? I think that's the stepping over mm. the line. But don't you Personal think, things yeah, like that. Absolutely. Don't you think it makes a difference if you're in a relationship or not, though? I think if you've got a, a it partner, shouldn't. it shouldn't. But I, I think it, it perhaps does. I, I think you're right. Yeah. Because I remember when I was suddenly single. Um, it's suddenly like Sunday afternoons, what you do. Everyone's with the partners. Saturday nights. Yeah. Suddenly you do feel different. When you're with your partner, your time is more consumed. Mine too. When you've, been, when you've been in a relationship for a long time, because I've been in, uh, very happily in a relationship for 20 years, actually on a Saturday night you do sometimes just want to go out with your mates. You know, there's the time when you're first together and you're just inseparable and you don't want anybody else, but then after a while, you know, you do want to do is different so things. you can remember what you used to do before you were yeah, married? Yeah, a little bit. So you can... Woo! Yeah. <laughs> but I have to say, I've only... It's funny this number four, isn't it? I've only got four what I'd call really, really close friends. I think if you have any more, you haven't actually got enough time to spend with them to make them that close yeah. and that precious. And don't you think there's a difference between, you know, your really precious, precious friends, your lifelong friends, and your work friends? You know, because you yeah, meet good them. pals. You know, but good I think pals. the friends yeah. that you yeah. take in later in life are, are probably more valuable in some ways because you can't fit everybody in, so they, they earn their place with you, and then they become really valued by way of virtue. And Can I just say how I learnt my lesson about friends? When I was six, I had friends that were five and a half, and in the playground we had a, <laughs> no, we had a tree, and the tree had a hole in it, and all the five and a half year olds could be in the tree, but if you were six, you couldn't. <laughs> Are you a squirrel? Thank you, Sherry. <laughs> for bringing that right down. Yeah, I'm sorry. <laughs>
Nice little chat about friendship. Now you're weeping. <laughs>